पेज नंबर फिफ्टीन चैप्टर थ्री द डेजर्ट पॉइंट टू बी पॉन्डेड वन अ डेजर्ट इज जनरली विदाउट वॉटर एंड वेजिटेशन टू अ ग्रीन पैच विद फ्रेश वॉटर एंड ग्रीन ट्रीज इन द मिडल ऑफ ए वास्ट डेजर्ट इज अ ब्यूटिफुल साइट थ्री अ डेजर्ट मे बी टू हॉट और टू कोल्ड नाउ द टेक्स्ट दोज ऑफ अस हु लिव इन रीजन्स कवर्ड विथ फॉरेस्ट एंड सुराउंडेड बाय हिल्स मे फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट टू इमेजिन वॉट अ डेजर्ट इज रियली लाइक द पॉपुलर बिलीव इज दैट इट इज एन एंडलेस स्ट्रेच ऑफ सैंड वेर नो रेन फॉल्स and therefore no vegetation grows it is a dry hot waterless and without shelter but this is not entirely correct for those who have studied it the desert can be a beautiful place it is the home of a variety of people animals and plants that have learned to live under very hot and dry conditions true the ground is not always hidden by a cover of grass plants and trees as it is in other climates but whenever it rains which is rare desert flowers bloom and sight can be as rewarding as that of any tropical garden a desert is not always a flat unchanging wasteland of dry sand it may have mountains and hills it may have an oasis big or small an oasis is like a green island in the middle of a desert where a spring or well gives plant and trees a better chance to grow page number 16 a desert may be hot like the thar or cold like ladakh but generally speaking if a place has little or no water and vegetation people usually call it a desert some deserts are almost totally without water in such places strong winds blow raising heaps of sands and depositing them as mounds these are called sand dunes that shift and move endlessly across the desert few plants can survive on such dry shifting sands comprehension check 1 from the first paragraph 1 of 1 pick out two phrases which describe the desert as most people believe it is 2 of 1 pick out two phrases which describe the desert as specialist see it which do you think is an apt description and why the word here is mounds that means big heaps page number 17 two the phrases on the left in the following box occur in the text match each of them with the phrase on the right on column 1 we see question 1 an endless stretch of sand two waterless and without shelter three an oasis four hidden by a cover of grass on column 2 the options are fertile place with water and plant in a desert two not visible because the grass is thick three nothing but sand as far as one can see and four no water and no shade some points to be pondered one desert plants and animals learn to require much less water than most plants and animals two the camel is a typical desert animal three smallest desert animals have unusual means of satisfying their needs for water now the text 
all living things need water in order to survive. The few plants and animals that live in desert have developed the ability to require less water than most plants and animals. The camel, popularly known as the ship of the desert, can drink a lot of water at one time. Camels can do without water for days together. Page number 18 The reason is they sweat very little. We sweat because we must keep our body temperature constant. We sweat when it gets hot and this cools the body. Camels can stand high body temperature. They don't need to sweat and can therefore retain the water they drink for long periods of time. The smaller desert animal do not drink water. They bureau underground during the hot day and come out at night to eat. Some of them eat other animals and get water they need from the moisture in the meat. Others eat plants and seeds and get water they need from plant juices. Desert plant also adapt themselves to the life they lead. Cactus plants store water in their thick stems. Their roots lie close to the surface of the ground and quickly absorb the moisture from the light rains that occasionally fall. The major feature of all desert is, of course, dryness and variations of temperature. Page number 19 In humid climates, the moisture in the air acts like a blanket and protects the earth's surface from the hot rays of the sun. The absence of this blanket in desert land causes the desert to heat up rapidly during the day and to cool off rapidly at night. Deserts are an important part of nature's great plan. They are there like a dense forest and the deep oceans. Just because they are hot and dry, one should not look upon them as useless parts of the earth. Comprehension Check 1. A camel can do without water for days together. What is the reason given in the text? 2. How do the smaller desert animals fulfill their need for water? 3. In a desert, the temperature rises during the day and falls rapidly at night. Why? Exercise Do the following activities in groups. 1. Describe a desert in your own way. Write a paragraph and read it aloud to your classmates. 2. Go to the library and collect information about the lifestyle of people in desert areas, their food, clothes, work, social customs, etc. Share this information with the group. Some words are variations means changes. Humid means containing moisture. 